Tuesday and look who's here. It's the Gavin Show. Say hi. Say hi party people. Say hello. We see you. What you doing? Say just hanging out at the tub, you know. Normal everyday baby stuff. I came in here because I have to uh, do my hair. <laughs> um, I put my makeup on, but I need to do something with my hair. I'm going to pull it up um, because um, Gavin's here and he likes to grab hair and he likes to stick it in his mouth and stuff like that, which it doesn't bother me, but it gets matty and stuff. So anyway, um, I'm going to pull it back and then in a few minutes, um, I brought all the yard sale stuff. Uh, downstairs but we have a huge tub of Beanie Babies and um, so I am going to introduce him to that tub and um, of course I forgot they have tags on them. We'll see how he acts with them though. I think he's gonna have a lot of fun. Here's the tub of Beanie Babies that I was telling you about. This is a giant Beanie Buddy. No, <laughs> He's so good. Anyway you see yeah, I knew Gavin would walk up to it because it's something new. Yeah, what's in there, buddy? What's in there? Yes, my little man. It's dusty, too. <laughs> yes, you're going to get dust all over you. Look, I'm going to open it up. And I don't remember how these look in here because I haven't looked at it in a year. Let me open it up. You can see what's in there, Gavin. Some of them aren't Beanie Babies. Oh, wow. What's in there? Oh, goodness. Yeah, see, there's some bags here. Yeah, oh, and he loves bags. Yes, we love bags. So we'll take the ones out that are in bags. But you can play with the other ones. Look at the bear. Hello, Gavin. Hello, Gavin. Master Gavin. <laughs> oh, and here's a Barney. Look, a Barney. It's Barney. Can you say Barney? Say Barney. Barney. What else is in there? Huh? What else is in there, Gavin? There's so much. Last year at the yard sale, hold on, I'll turn you around. Last year at the yard sale, I started selling these for 50 cents a piece, and I'm sure that's going to bring a big gasp of shock to people, because some of these I paid, we don't even want to talk about, but um, I remember one bear in particular paying like $45 for. So, um, anyway... Um, most of the, the Beanie Babies in here, I paid, uh, $10, $15 for. So, and that's, that's a shame. And a lot of these, like the McDonald's, the special McDonald's ones, um, I stood in line. Um, I rem clearly remember going after church and standing in line just to get these little teeny beanies from McDonald's. And now they're not worth anything. You can look on eBay, and people have Beanie Babies. Yes, there are lots of listings for Beanie Babies, but they're not selling. So, um, that's a big difference. Gavin wants to see in here, too. Look, there you are. There you are. So, that's a big difference. Uh, a listing, someone listing something's one thing, but actually being able to get money out of it is quite a different story. So anyway, um, I had these for like a dollar a piece uh, three years ago, and then last year, or yeah, a dollar a piece, and then after that, I had them for 50 cents, and then finally, I put them at a quarter, because I, I thought, you know, uh, people will spend a quarter and, you know, buy four of them, because quite frankly, I'm just trying at this point to get this huge container of Beanie Babies out of my attic. Um, 
And Gavin does not need this many Beanie Babies. Actually, Andrew has a container this size full of Beanie Babies because he's never sold any of his. And it's in our attic, being stored in our attic. So, yes, it's taking up space. Um, but he does not want to part with his yet. He's not ready. So, um, but... I can make, I told him uh, once again, that I think this is when I gave him the example that I told you about the other day. No, a quarter doesn't seem like a lot, but you start adding up those quarters at the end of the day, and it's quite a lot of money. I mean, um, we made uh, we made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. No, I want you to look. This just doesn't happen. Guido. That is not your, now you're, I've donated his toys. Donated them. And I, Guido, that is not a Bow Wow Beanie. <gasps> Guido, give me that, give me that. I can't believe he never, ever wants to play. And now because Gavin's playing. Now look, is he going to remember that you're supposed to bring it back? I tell you who likes to play fetch is the cat. The cat, the cat can fetch as good as any dog. But anyway, I was just saying that, um, bring it to me. Bring it to me. Um, you know, we made hundreds of dollars last year, and it's because I price things, uh, low, and then you make a lot of money. I cannot, truly cannot believe he's doing this. Guido, bring me that. I cannot believe a pug with Barney. Do you not like Barney? Do you not like Barney? Poor Barney. Poor Barney. He is the big catfish mouth. That's just not even right, Guido. Are you ashamed? Are you ashamed? Your tail's wagging, shameful bird. And then you have this one over here with the bags. We have a whole thing, a bin full of Beanie Babies out of the bags. Tons of them down here. And he picks, he wants to play with the bags. Gavin. Mr. Gavin. Little man. Yeah, he likes the bags. He likes that sound. Little man. Oh no, you can't have. Listen, you had your toys. You had your toys and you didn't want them. So you can't act ugly with these toys. These are not, these are not pug approved. No, they're not. These are not Pug Approved Toys. Is he being funny? Is he being funny? <coughs> wow! <coughs> wow! These are some of the, uh, the hippity hoppity bunnies. These are some that I, I know I paid like, um, I don't remember, like 20 bucks or something. And I cannot believe they haven't sold. Maybe I'll take them out of this bin and display them so that people can see. Um, maybe if they actually see the bears. Because you see a tub of Beanie Babies and you don't see the condition that they're in. 
And of course, these are no, that one's no longer in good condition. And Barney, where did he take Barney? I don't know. But anyway, there are a lot of bears down in here and uh, cats. Um, oh, here's a dog. What's, oh, this is the Princess Diana, Princess Diana bear. Now, can you believe that didn't sell last year for a quarter? I mean, really? Um, i tell you what did it for me is when they said that they were not going to make them anymore and they had the end bear and I bought the end bear and everything and then they kept selling them. That's what did it for me because it was like that was not truth in advertising to me. So, because I thought they were going to be hard to get a hold of and then, you know, they kept making them. So, that's, why, that's when I quit buying them. You like that angel? Okay, I emptied out the tub. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Gavin in it and see what he does. Gavin, look, look, come here, look. No, Guido, you better not get any more. Don't you even think about it. Look, Gavin, look, let's go over here. Look, come over here to the tub. You want to get in there? That could be a little swimming pool. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there, Mr. Gavin? Huh? Get up. Don't think of... Hey, Guido, he can't hear me. Look. Look, look, it's Barney. Barney, oh, Barney. Oh, yes, let's stick with Barney. Slobber. You're not going to get any more slobber because that's disgusting. Gavin, what you doing, little man? This uh, Beanie Baby container makes a great uh, coffee table. Oh, and I will sell this in the yard sale, too. This was a big mistake. Uh, we bought four of these huge Rubbermaid containers. And I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's very long. And it's um, if you're putting these, I guess, um, under a bed or something like that or in a garage, I guess it would be okay. They're not very convenient for carrying up and down, really. They're just... Uh, you can't get them very heavy because when you're carrying them you can't get them t close to your body to um, I don't know the weights just not you can't evenly distribute the weight and carry it at the same time if that makes any sense at all it was just awkward so the square Rubbermaid containers are much better than these really long ones they're probably meant for clothes for lighter things but and look Guido's worn out now now that he's worried Barney to death but anyway this makes a good coffee table for Gavin he I put all of his toys on here, and he can walk around and um, cause destruction. Um, we used to have a coffee table, and uh, honestly, I like it better without, though, because I like the space. I would rather have all the open floor space than have a coffee table and have to walk around it. So, um and with a baby, um, I think it's you have to clear off most of those tables anyway if you have them. If you have like little whatnots or you can't keep a drink on it because you have to worry about them knocking it over. So it's better for us at this time anyway. Yeah, he's really sad. I couldn't put Barney back in the box because he was so wet and gross and disgusting. Are you having fun? Because as in Miss Linda's dish, her Swiss chard was very sweet. And I was looking for something spicy that'll break that up, you know? I personally love Linda's Swiss chard. Try something new. This is the Beech Nut Just Pear Raspberry and Asparagus. Um, this is 100% natural. Um, shake well, it says. 
Um, let's see. Ingredients. Pears, raspberries, asparagus. So it's like it's all natural, no sugar added, nothing like that. A fourth of a cup is 35 calories. Yes. Mmm. Mama said you like it. Yeah. Is that good stuff you... Oh, okay, well... I just looked in the hall, and look who's walking in with Barney. Yeah. What is it with you people and Barney? Hmm? Why can't you leave Barney alone? Look. Why can't you leave Barney alone? They both like Barney. Yeah. Sad. We heated up some of her chicken noodle casserole that she made last night, and she's going to give Gavin a little bitty piece of noodle. Um, it's still really hot right now. Oh, is it still really hot? Yeah. We'll wait until it cools off and then she's going to give him a bite. But he, he likes this okay. He's eating some of it. I'm going to try to give him some more. Poor Barney. He's gonna give Gavin a bite of noodle. <laughs> Gavin, look. Noodle. It good? The nostrils are flared. Um, I think he liked that noodle. Yeah. Yep, he liked it. He opened his mouth for another bite. He doesn't do that with baby food. I'm going to fill this bowl up with eggs, and I want you to see how thrilled the child gets when he sees that the ball is full and then he can come and knock it over. Look at him. He's already spotted it. And he's running. Look at him. Happy. Happy. Look. Oh, I'm going to move it. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? I'm moving it. <laughs> ah! Look. The distraction. You like to cause distraction. Okay, we'll fill it up again. Look, look at the, the look on his face. Look. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get some of these. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh, it's full again. You see the look? Yeah, the look that says, I want, I want to be destructive. Yeah.
70 degrees and I, want, I have been wanting to try to see if this playpen would fit through the door without breaking it down and it did it fit through the door perfect so I brought Gavin out here on the porch and Miss Ashley's leaving for work but I love you did you get your lanyard <laughs> um, her lanyard has her ID on it so anyway we'll sit out here for a little while and um, Gavin can play and enjoy the nice weather at the same time. And I can read my my book. I'm still reading this, believe it or not. It's just a short little book, but I just don't have a lot of time to read, to devote to it. So I'm going to try to finish it today. This is what I do with my junk mail nowadays. I give it to Mr. And <laughs> I let him have it. And he really enjoys the junk mail. And he is going to be filthy when his dad picks him up. Uh, because this front porch is filthy. And his feet are going to be um, black. And his toes will be black. She asked me one time if I had stamped his feet the first time I had him out here. And I said, stamped his feet? And she said, well, when I picked him up, his feet were black. It was because he was out on this front porch that his feet were black. But you see, he's enjoying that junk mail much more than I ever would. Well, I finished my book earlier, and so Ashley walked with me to the library, and we returned it, and then I came home and ate dinner, and Ashley had already eaten some cheese sticks from Sonic on her way home from work, so she wasn't hungry, so I ate tuna and uh, lace potato chips, big surprise there, and uh, Kevin's not home. He had a meeting during work today where he took the lemonade bars and then he had another meeting that started at six tonight so it was a, a dinner meeting so i don't know if he'll have taken pictures of his food or not if he has i'll insert it so anyway right now i'm sitting in the middle of yard sale stuff and pricing and um, actually, I'm almost finished. Um, I have a lot of um, artwork that I need to price. But other than that, I, I think I'm pretty good. I, I think I'm finished. And then uh, Andrew and Christina can bring their stuff over. And it won't be for another week. So um, that'll be good. So it'll give us plenty of time to add to this if we want to.